Watercrafts of various forms have been used to transport people and goods for thousands of years. One of the first recorded boats was a reed boat manned by 20 paddlers in approximately 10,000 BCE. Throughout history, watercrafts have come in many forms, such as canoes, Vikings longships, and clippers, among many others. As the world experienced the Industrial Revolution, the invention of the steam engine propelled a shift from man or wind-propelled watercrafts to steam-powered. The creation of steam or coal-powered watercrafts kick-started a wave of innovation that birthed the ocean liner, transatlantic passenger travel, and expanded large cargo shipping. In the last century, modernization has increased access and opportunity for passenger travel exponentially. There are many types of vessels used in water transportation today. Passenger carriers, like ferries and water taxis, allow for many possibilities as forms of public transit. Most large cities, especially in the U.S., are located on major waterways. Cities including St. Louis, San Francisco, Washington, D.C., and Boston have implemented forms of water transportation for decades. Water taxis and tour boats are used for everyday transit and tourist amenities. Many cities have worked to build their waterfront spaces to accommodate water transit. Cities like Venice, Hong Kong, and Tokyo have used water transportation for centuries. Recently, there has been a resurgence across the globe in expanding the use of watercrafts for commuters and tourists. Baltimore, New York City, and Seattle are three examples of U.S. cities that currently use water taxis as a normal form of public transit. A common thread throughout these cities and many others is to connect and integrate water transport with land-based transport for people-centered urban mobility. Many technological innovations have been sparked in recent years. With the existential threat of climate change looming ever closer, innovators are now turning to new alternatives to gas and coal-powered engines. Some of the new ideas being researched are a return to wind power, solar-powered chargers, and lithium-powered crafts like the French startup Sea Bubbles. In Paris, a French startup company is testing their latest invention in water transit, an electronically hailed flying water taxi. Sea bubbles. Its electric motors are lithium powered and rechargeable, while its hydrofoil wings reduce the drag caused by the water, making it a more energy efficient option than conventional boats. Meanwhile, in Russia, researchers have created a watercraft that uses solar power and aeronautical design and works as a deep sea charger for unmanned vehicles, called Storm 600. According to researchers, the solar vessel could act as a mobile charging station for drones in the deep ocean. In addition, the craft has been able to reach speeds of up to 124 miles per hour or 200 kilometers per hour. The next generation of innovators and city planners will need to embrace change and alternative ways of thinking to overcome the existential problems associated with automobiles. By working together and incorporating water, air, and other forms of sustainable transit, the cities of the future will work as ecosystems. By integrating water, land, and air transport with people-centered urban planning, we can build a bridge to sustainable cities.